Oh, no. Not again. You ever say that as a kid? Or have you ever heard your kids say that to you? Well, you might feel like saying that this week. We're going to talk about Melchizedek again. That obscure character from Genesis chapter 14 comes up again in Hebrews chapter 7. You might think, why does this guy keep coming up and why do we keep talking about him? I mean, there's wars in the world and struggles in our homeland and gas prices are over $5. Should we be talking about Melchizedek? Well, the answer is yes. By inspiration, that is, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the writer of Hebrews felt that it was very important and was led to write about the significance of this Old Testament character. And believe it or not, it has very much to do with the things that we face each day. Do you need an expert on how to live? Do you need to know that your sins are really gone? Do you need somebody who can help renovate the inside of you? If you say yes to any of those things, then you need Jesus Christ. And the stories and the lessons about Melchizedek help us understand the greatness of Jesus. Remember, the theme of the letter is Jesus is better. And this author of Hebrews is going to keep driving it home. And so this week, we're going to talk about Melchizedek again. I hope we see you in person or online this Lord's Day. God bless.